Oh, the first beer is open. Welcome to the mm-hmm. podcast, uh, Cave Talk Radio. And this is our first one. So, um, and hopefully one. the first of... Yeah, number one. Number one. Number one. Who know? Hopefully the first of many. Um, I wouldn't say we're... We're not rusty because we've not done it before. So hang in there with us. We'll get better at it, right? <laughs> who, do we, uh, who do we have in the room here? We have the first person talking, Taylor Waddell. Hello, guys. Uh, yeah, Easton Wilson. Also known as Mr. Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. God, I hate you, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, yours truly, Mr. Brent Bailey. With his new Oakley shades. Dang. New Oakley shades, looking nice. Same, same as the old ones. Same as the old new. ones, but they're in the bottom of a lake right now. Bottom so of a lake. <laughs> we don't talk about it. <laughs> then you got me, Chase Goodman, or Chase Bueno Hombre to my Spanish vatos. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, the de la boca. <laughs> married one. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. We haven't actually got to... <clears throat> Yeah, congratulations, congratulations Dad, because we married. were supposed to start Thanks, our first guys. podcast near that, but we didn't get That's to fine. What What is it like being married? Because I can't even get a text back. So. <laughs> <laughs> Same as like if you're dating a girl for a while. All right. But her name changes. There's more at stake. <laughs> her name changes. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Plus, if anything happens, half your income and everything. Like, if I'm she's low. mad, <laughs> if she's mad and you get a phone call from her, you're going to be mad, too. Or you're taking half the blame. <laughs> I'm talking yeah, re- reference to, to a uh, reschedule Star Wars times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Like oh, uh, okay. So what are we what are we brought here today by? I feel like today's topic is going to be. What well, What were you thinking, Taylor? Uh, I was thinking talking about about uh, just growing up and our childhood and how we got to this very moment. So childhood, here. kids are us. There's a lot of things. I mean, kids are us. We all had, uh, there's different things in our lives that we all actually experience and don't even know yet. For example, uh, everyone always played with the, um, that door stopper that you, fl- fl- you know, flicked back and forth and made that buzzing yeah, sound. Like, Dong. Yeah, sure. and we did that, that most like, of the time when we were in trouble, grounded, you know? Right. I don't, I don't think I ever had one of those in any house I grew up with, but... Every time I go to a house with one, just know I do flick it. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. Not it's to it's inevitable. My right. grandpa had those all over the place. This is like, yeah, I'm not for you. But my parents didn't have one though. Uh, talking about that, um, I feel like one of the topics we should talk about is like what are, like raw experiences as being a child. Mm, right. Base talking- like base one. Like when did you first like? Come online, like like <laughs> instead oh, okay. of like sh- like pooping and shitting in your diaper all day to like your first like holy crap I'm a sentient being like I can think and, and remember tomorrow like no. when did you come no online more, no yeah. more oldest oldest memory I guess oldest memory uh, I have a good oldest I don't know memory. I don't know how I don't know how filtered I should keep this memory I mean it's pretty messed up keep honestly it, for being real the well, earliest memory I have is I think it was like two or three. And I was sitting on a carpet watching Monster Jam on TV. I think it was Monster a uh, VHS tape. It was like a like a special documentary on Monster what Jam. What is Monster Jam? Uh, I've heard it recently. I have no idea. Isn't it was. like uh, was Space Jam? The big, <laughs> the big trucks. The big trucks and... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ears. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like Grave Digger, you know? Yeah. All oh, that that's stuff. what yeah. they call them. Monster, Monster Jam. Jam. Packs. Yeah, they yeah. do that in oh. Indy and stuff like that. But okay. Earliest memory I have is doing that. And I remember, like, I think it was at, like, my mom's boyfriend's house or something. I don't remember what it was. But I remember sitting on that floor, and I shit my pants right there on the carpet. I literally pooped on the carpet. And uh, <laughs> I remember my mom's reaction. And that's literally the earliest memory I have. Like, I Did can, she take it really well? For uh, like, <laughs> I think she's like, you carpet. shouldn't be doing that anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, sorry, Mom. I really like the show. I didn't want to stop watching it. Oh, Easton, honestly, that is oh, definitely the earliest. Stuff. Easton, what about one of uh, one of your first memories? What is my first memory? Was being at my babysitter when I was like three, and I walked behind the swing, and it fucking drilled me in the head. <laughs> and that's about all I remember. Yeah. That, that was the last. That was the last of that memory. <laughs> <laughs> I got drilled in the head, and then. It, like it took that to make you come online. You're like, oh shit! Like, damn. oh shit, this is, life this sucks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't, I don't know. I feel, I feel like one of my favorite or, uh, uh, first memories was I was at a babysitter's house with my my younger brother, and he was still like, I wouldn't say he was online yet, but we were both real little, and we helped each other escape from our cribs, 
Yeah, I mean, we got our asses beat for doing it. <laughs> but, uh, I just remember him and I were like in this this like action action movie to ourselves of uh, escaping from our cribs, getting out of this yeah. bed, and and every time your mom would come back to pick you up, it was like the greatest relief ever. But I feel like that's the oldest memory I have. I don't know, nothing too special, just average, I guess. Yeah, so. mine's probably pretty normal. But my first memory, I was exactly two years and three hundred and sixty four days old because <laughs> wow. it was my brother's birth. And he was born a day before my birthday. And then I just remember the hospital call. That's gonna suck. Call my dad, and my sister was right beside him. Like, oh, your brother's born. And I was like, eh. and then that's all I remember. Uh, having <laughs> having a birthday next to a sibling or next to a holiday, I lumped. feel like just has to suck yeah. because mine's in the middle of summer. <laughs> Nothing's going on in the summertime other than swimming and and Fourth of and, July. And Fourth of yeah. July. Yeah, so. like so. So everyone's like, oh, it's it's your birthday. It's another excuse to get drunk tonight. So. <laughs> my, my stepfather's birthday is on Christmas. Really? That, that would sucks. be horrible because that you wouldn't would get be his, Would you get double presents or his? No, no, you definitely know that's not how yeah. it's going to work. See, that's out. that's what sucks about that because my the only okay, I had like negatives and positives. I was born on July twenty third, so mine is in the middle of summer. The, the The cons of being born in July is when you're in elementary school, you're not cool. You don't get to bring the cupcakes in, in the middle of the day and have your birthday in class. So you're not one of the cool kids that gets and and uh. It, but and the, and the plus side is all right. I have a really cool birthday. We can go swimming at my aunt Kelly's lake and and have cake and ice cream and go swimming. But you can't because you're born in January. Man, that sucks. Let's but, talk kindergarten. Kindergarten. Mm-hmm. I oh, I had I was I went to kindergarten in in Marion. Uh, Sweetser oh, Sweetser Elementary. <laughs> I think is that still part of Marion? Sweetser around Swayze and all that. I think. Swayze. Uh, I don't know. I'm I had, a, I had my kindergarten teacher is Miss Eversman. <laughs> if you know who Miss Eversman is, she was the the sweetest lady ever. I've yet to contact her or talk to her since kindergarten, but I, I feel like kindergarten was real fun for me. I moved to Blackford in second grade. But that's coming from that's Oakland. I moved to Blackford. Sorry, really? Yeah, second guess. grade? No. <laughs> I moved. Wow, I don't remember. Like, see, that's how long ago that was. Like, I don't. Remember. You guys are just always grade. there. Miss Moore's me. class. You guys are always there to me. Miss like Miss first, first person Miss I ever Moore's, met. Miss Moore. You say Miss Moore? Yep. That first, was my second grade. First teacher. person I ever met. Yeah. Was uh was what was his name Avery Peckham Avery Peckham Avery Peckham that- and I talked to him he's the first kid I ever met in the middle of, I got started in the middle of like first period or something whatever you want to call it <laughs> and uh, I just walked in and they're like the principal walked me into the room and was like I want you guys to meet this new student of yours his name is Brent be nice to him or something to that effect and I looked over in the distance and I saw this one desk over here by himself so automatically you know who the jokester is and that was Nolan Crusher and, <laughs> and he was in the corner and then I sat down and I was like hi my name is Brent and it was Avery Peckham it turns out to be a, a lifelong friend but still to this day still to this day he's probably going to be friends. one of uh, one of our guests on the show for sure oh definitely yeah. let's see and the, uh, really these people that are listening now to our podcast aren't really going to understand until they listen to a lot of our our episodes because we have our our friend spectrum is so big that it's just like we don't have just like four best friends it's like 16 or 20 best 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 friends and, yeah and yeah. that's what i love about our group and that's why we have the potential i feel like so that's my uh, kindergarten teacher i went to eaton elementary was it at the, yeah. was it at the oh uh, marathon on Highway 3? or Is <laughs> uh, it a box there on the side of the ditch right where the Dolly Journal just got built? No, no, but definitely a Eaton Elementary, no nothing going on, little town. Definitely. And I had a babysitter my pretty much my whole young life named Beth, and she was awesome. She Beth. would babysit like 20, 25 kids in her house, dude, right there in her double wide trailer. I can't yeah. even be on an airplane with a crying kid. I don't know how these people, these, uh, yeah, we wouldn't which actually have babies to, uh, babysitters. It wasn't actual babies. I mean, usually it was anyone from like four and older, but, and she had five kids herself. <laughs> and so we would, Damn. my kid, you know, <laughs> my stepmom would drive us there every single morning because she worked in Muncie, right. drop us off, and then, uh, we would wait for the bus to pick us up from, um, at her house, and there'd be like 20 kids getting on this bus all straight from her house. Because she babysitted everybody I'd be in the. Pissed if I was that bus driver, I'd be like, this is fucking. I can't tell you. I mean, t- tell you what. Has anyone here ever fell asleep on the bus and totally missed your stop at the end of yeah, the day? Yeah, I used to be called the mouse. <laughs> no. I did that once, and I, I was I was in fifth. I was four or five years old. The bus driver's not happy. 
Huh? The bus driver is not happy when yeah, that happens. Like, yeah, you know, he just wasted, like, another, another half hour. He's like, life. damn, I'm supposed to do this tonight, but uh, I guess I'm not going to go home and <laughs> At least he's my not TV, like, TV I'm going to take this kid dinner. home. Yeah, TV dinner. <laughs> With me. That reminded me of Matilda for some reason. Matilda? Like, Miss Cook. <laughs> my, my, my elementary school teacher was Miss Cook. Mrs. Cook. And I remember we would have, like, recess inside class, playtime or whatever you want to call it, and they had these giant paper cardboard bricks that and they just like, like 50 they, and they're colored like bricks as yeah well. and you yeah, can build yeah. your house or whatever huh. and then right. um what else is it, it was just oh, like... capitalism <laughs> 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 what about you chase why was what is your uh... my um kindergarten teacher is mrs green but she actually moved up to first grade with me so i had her for two what years school is Ooh, that? That's parkside that? elementary Where my parents located? also went to parkside elementary so it was is that indianapolis well, that's that's in goshen india near goshen? south bend no, yep. that's right. uh it's about the size population wise of Muncie, but like a lot smaller land wise. So there's a lot of like people in one area, but it's just compacted. Yeah, so Parkside was like in the middle of all this whole like urban neighborhood. So there was like I literally walked to school from my house. It took like 45 seconds. As how old you were? How old and walking to your class? Six. I started. No, kindergarten. Okay, okay. I started kindergarten when I was six I because I had a really bad no speech way. impediment. My parents always thought I was going to grow up retarded. <laughs> they told me that two years ago. I'm like, well, thanks, guys. <laughs> like, damn it. <laughs> but well, we're I'm... stuck with him for 18 years. Yeah. Or, or Longer than whole... that. Yeah, whole, probably your whole life if you're retarded. All 36 years of Not, no, no, no disrespect to anyone that's living with a, a mental, mentally retarded kid, but wow. Yeah, Ooh. nothing else. That transferred them. schools from me in first grades when I went to Blackford. So I went to went there. I don't know why that happened. Why I didn't just stay there and um, where at? I'm assuming or Eaton. Eaton. Uh, Eaton. So that's I went right. there in the kindergarten in Eaton, and then I transferred to Blackford for first grade. Eaton, that's true. Hannah Lex was that? the first person that ever Eaton. talked to me. Is it Eaton still? <laughs> Hannah Lex. Blackford? She her <clears throat> hair is longer than the Indy 500 racetrack. I, I, don't, I don't like. I really <laughs> have no idea. <laughs> yeah, she's cool. Oh, yeah, I remember n- being so scared because I made all these friends in kindergarten and I knew everyone, and then I went straight to hell again. And I uh, didn't know anybody, and she came up to me and saw I was freaking out, and you gotta get beer. Yeah, beer's important for a podcast. B-W-R-U-N, beer run. <laughs> yeah, but um, I was like the biggest troublemaker in kindergarten, probably through like fourth grade is when I stepped in troublemaker. But I I've gotten in a couple fights, oh, and no, no. I would always talk over the teacher. Oh, and I had this Brad. friend. I had this friend named Noah Snyder, <clears throat> and I had this meal from my beer. <laughs> Me too. So, You're good. But then, um, so the, I would always get yellow or red cards. Did you, did you guys do that in kindergarten? Yellow, yellow, yellow card if you stars. if you got a warning. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah yellow card stars. for warning. Red card you go. If you like cut a girl's hair or something with your scissors, yeah. like but I'd get those good. like daily. Yellow red card. cards. Yellow card. <laughs> I only got red card a few times. Uh, and those were basically fights. I feel like my ADHD had a lot to do with my uh, behavioral issues. Oh yeah. <laughs> growing up, I had ADHD. I still have. I guess I don't like step out of it one day. But yeah, I feel like I was a bad kid. I, actually, looking back now, I'm 22 years old, and looking in life where I'm at now compared to a lot of kids, I am a freaking angel compared to some <laughs> of the kids I grew up with. And my parents, I want to say I'm the black sheep of the family, but the way I acted was, yeah, somewhat I'd get in trouble here and there, but compared to a lot of these kids I went to school with, holy shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I should have went to Harvard or something, but it's just, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, I feel when, like... When I hear about your guys' high school, because I hear stuff from Janelle and then you guys... And we had cornfields around it, our high school. It sounds like such a stereotypical 80s high school. So <laughs> much, so <laughs> much we're, we're stuck in the so 50s, much, actually. <laughs> like, actually, I would say, the, I'm going to go ahead and say the 30s. Uh, we, uh, our Welcome high school stuck in the and and my best friend was Chance Richardson, growing up and and to go ahead and break the ice here he was uh, about half black or or is that what they call themselves not his yeah. mixed them, well, I don't want to say them like bad but he's my best friend and 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 he was the only no and we're, and we had a couple others so so there were like three African American kids that went to our high school total because we had one stop sign in our school surrounded by cornfields and John Deere tractors and. <laughs> And him and I were best friends, and it's just it's so crazy because I feel like a lot of our viewers or uh, a lot of these people that are going to be listening or whatnot come from such a diverse, bigger population school. Like even Muncie, give it you know, give or take. Mm-hmm. That's 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 the 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 ethnicity diversity is so broad and big. You know, whites are the minority, 
uh, this and that. And I co we come from such a totally opposite. We come from nothing but cornfields and a small high school, and 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 then we go to Muncie to to do whatever. Like, and if we wanted to do anything, we'd have to go to Muncie. And it's just Walmart. you go to Muncie. We, go yeah, if you want, if you want to go, if you want to watch a movie, you can drive thirty minutes to Muncie. Right? <laughs> like coming from such a small high school out in the middle of nothing is just. This is so funny to me, and I love it. But yeah, and that would be way different because my high school, um, the Hispanic population, my graduating class is actually fifty two fifty two percent of the class. Really? So uh, whites were the minority. I guess you could say minority, but we're still the majority <laughs> overall in like nation speaking. But it's just like different going from somewhere in Goshen to Muncie, Indiana. There's barely any Hispanic people. Really? And I feel like when I go to Ball Was State it? in Ball State University, I see like. I think maybe three percent of all states, is and it really it, and it's, it bums it's just me way out. Different to me, yeah. it bums me out because I love all all races. I literally don't care what you are if you're green, purple, blue, or amen and millennials. Or, yeah, but it's just it's just so crazy because I feel like it comes and, and a lot of like I I come from a good story, like we were we're out in the middle of the cornfields, but. Look at me. I love all races, and I feel like yeah. there's a lot of schools that aren't like that. Like it's it's all strictly you know whites, and and they they come out prejudiced because that's all they know. They're afraid. Racism is literally just the the fear of the unknown. Yeah, you know? I also and, think and it's just, just like when you grow up like that. Like if you think about it, fifty years ago, forty. Was, my grandpa remembers going out and getting water to slaves. So it's literally like, like that just Not shows something. like, I know that sounds bad, but like that just shows like that wasn't really that yeah, long ago. Yeah, uh, oh, uh, something similar to that. Oh, you, you and Heaston and I, we went on a, a canoe trip recently. We went uh, down the river and I was, I was just thinking, it, it's, it's just one of those thoughts, you know, and, and there's a lot of alcohol involved, but I was like, man, we're on kayaks going down this river in Indiana. And if you think about it, 200 years ago. If I'd done that exact same thing, just went down a river on a kayak, I'd probably have arrows coming out my ass. Yeah, from yeah. Fuck, you know, from Indians or going or in your ass or go, going from, in my ass. I don't from know. The uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they're dry and big. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, it, times have changed and everything changes with time, and it's just. I love it. I feel like right now we're living in the best time to live in right now. To be honest, yeah, I, you know, yeah, just, I yeah. really feel like we're at that. Uh, Pinnacle, or you know, we got to the best, and now it's only just downhill. Now. It's only downhill Trump's for president. <laughs> he like tried to be president. What is that movie? Well, what is that movie where they idiocracy? idiocracy. idiocracy. I love that movie. Yes. This is the beginning. This is the yeah. trailer to yeah. that movie. Oh, shit. I'm like afraid. Of, I, just, I don't even oh, watch the movie man. anymore because I'm like. Honestly, I wish I was born in the '50s. Uh, just, uh, and that's not go back to the racist statements or anything like that because I'm not racist, but. It's just, I feel like you could get by with a lot more back in the day Definitely. than you can oh, now. Yeah. Today, you can't yeah. even throw away a McDonald's bag in a trash can without being on camera. And I think you know, that it's going to get just, worse. I it is going to get worse. 50 years, you won't be able to do anything wrong and not, it, it, maybe not like the law bites you in the ass for it, but it's going to be there somewhere. Social life will bite you in the ass for it, you know? Like, right. Well, like, what are, what are, oh, about relationships? Let's think about that. Well, how 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 do you feel like feel like social media has affected relationships? Third, being a relationship, uh, actually, being a relationship back like in what like kind this, of relationships? Okay, let's say you're you're my girlfriend, I'm your boyfriend. Okay, so nineteen. Like, I like relationships. where this is going. It's a bit, we're yeah. we're boning okay. on the weekends, drinking beer when we're not supposed to, and it's nineteen sixty. You know, when when can we talk? Only when I call you on the landline and when we meet up. You know, drive our our Chevy Nova. Yeah, like hey, Chevy Nova's going on a date that's a, that's Friday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Chevy Nova's in the Can we 60s, like? Yeah, can done. we reroute back? And how about we talk about growing up with the rise of social media? Ooh, um, we, our generation yeah. and being born in 1995, class of 2014. I feel like that's my sad. generation is the last to have their baby photos taking. On an actual yes, camera instead of a smartphone. Such, mm. Today, any per, any baby's photo is you see it on Facebook, okay, you, see you see it, it on day. Instagram, you, you see, see it. it on Twitter, you see it all on on phones. And I feel like phones have become the ultimate multi tool for us. And it's just and it's, it blows my mind because any photo I have of myself being ten years or I'm sorry, sixteen years or younger, 
is on a Polaroid or yep. in a photo book yeah. somewhere. Yeah, you do that to someone else, not born nowadays or You're whatever. Like, Whoa, look how that's it's on their clear. gallery <laughs> roll. It's on their camera roll. Yeah. Their Ain't that gonna be weird when you? Uh, okay, so you're 50 and you're. <laughs> And you're married, and you have a wife, and you have children, right? You have children, and you're you're you're. How I put this, you have a son, and your son brings over his girlfriend for the first time, and this is your guys' first time, and the wife, aka your kid's mom, okay. brings out the baby pictures. Well, what's she gonna do? Bring it out on a phone or Facebook or what? She's not gonna have one like of those. I feel like when I'm fifty, I feel like when I'm fifty, if a person just walks into the room, my glasses. Or something is going to be like, bah, this is so-and-so, dot, 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 this is them about them. Would you like to click on this percent more? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you know, Nike's having a sale on their new <laughs> like, You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like, I feel like, uh, I feel like technology is going to be the easy. ad for 15 yeah, seconds. Which, <laughs> don't turn your head away. <laughs> you, you can, turn your head away you can skip this ad. It's not going to score in until you keep watching it. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I and I'm so excited for technology. And, and Moore's Law is technology doubles in nine months. And if you think about it now, like, the, the lives we live, or even the poor person, imagine a poor person, the lives they live today is more royalty and crazy and luxurious than can, Egyptians, kings lived Can back you imagine how uh, easy babysitting is these days when you can just toss a I don't know. tablet? I, 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 I talking couldn't be a babysitter. I mean, I can set yeah. and change a pole, an electric or utility pole like a motherfucker, but and when it comes to, like, Watching a four-year-old or, or younger or infant or something like that, I would be horrible. Like I would saran wrap them and just like chain them to a chair. And be like, yeah, oh, right. yeah. BRB. I like, remember you saying that. I could. So hats off to those people. Like to each their own skill. But like I could. not I don't believe in doing the whole iPad. The parents these days that just toss a screen in front of their kids, whether it's yeah. in the car. Or they're at a gathering, or even at home, it's like I could see it just shuts the kid up. It does. I saw the study though, but it said creates that a big problem. Kids five and under who just like. The iPad babysits them. It's like giving a cocaine to an adult. Yeah. It's like not healthy for their like socialization development and their skills. development. Yeah. What's wrong with looking out the damn window when you're going down the highway? Uh, um, because well, that wow, that's cornfield. I, I mean, like, it's my no Facebook. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? Well, that's, that's true. Sure, we live in a boring place to drive. Like, why do you? Not as bad as Kansas, though. Yeah, I jumped to Kansas, that's true. But um, but I want to jump back to when Brent said he'd rather live in the 50s. I found that interesting because I always think like kind of wish I was born later because I just want to see how far future goes like I'm probably going to die in like before 2100 no 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 so I want I, to see the human race go somewhere it's I really feel cool. like our generation <laughs> oh they say when, okay I heard this back when I was a, a senior in high school in 2014 I heard that the first person to live to be 150 years old I, I has already too. been born I feel like with technology and the stuff we have now I don't want to say my generation is going to be immortal but holy shit we're going to be gonna, shitting yeah. our pants in a, in a nursing yeah, home I need a spare in the year 2067 that real quick. you know like I feel like we're going to live to be at least see some badass shit if you think about it, people who watched the man land on the moon were also born in the same time Colonel Mustard got fucked when he set his troops out on that battle or whatever. That, think about that. that think about true. that. That technology, think about it. People who watched someone go to another planet, the moon, were born in the same time to see Colonel Mustard oh, in the Civil War or planet. whatever that 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 is, and I'm not saying that we're gonna Colonel see the Mustard. next greatest thing. I'm just saying technology is gonna get in freaking sane within our lifetime, and I am excited. so excited for yeah, it. Definitely. So and now, what about the kids that have to grow up, and they grow up with all this stuff, like all this simulation, twenty four seven? It's just like us. Going. What were we growing up with? But we didn't have we didn't have as much. I'm they had newspapers. Life. We have iPhones. You guys ever sit there? The next kids have. Fucking teleportation guns. <laughs> you know, like, guns. it's just gonna happen. And we don't it's like that. Portal, they yeah. do. We don't, you Wait. know, the, our, our, our grandparents yell at us for getting on our phone to check the time, you know, during dinner time. We're gonna get mad at our kids for using their teleportation, teleportation device going from China to not making it to my dinner at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. You guys you know, remember, like, remember what it was like not 
texting, not having a phone. And texting? What's weird is I, I had my phone in kindergarten, and that's really rare for people my age. I think fifth grade's when I got my first phone, and it was a, a damn, flip phone. Beating, yeah, that had a mirror on it. I had a flip camera it was phone, a mirror. and it had a thing over the camera where you could turn it over the camera, because back then people were, were like so the scared only, uh, of technology, like, the yeah, camera and, spies on you, so. And as a kid, you know, the only cool over. thing to do with my phone was prank call. I would call, like, <laughs> yeah, star 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 Remember star 67, put in a number? Yeah, they, you, they wouldn't know it, who was calling. Yeah, them. exactly. And then, or you could the call nine 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 line suicidal hotline, and you say, oh, "I'm not suicidal," and then hang up. Like, <laughs> like, like you thought you were cool, you know? And it's just like nowadays you can sit there and type someone's phone number in Facebook and find their whole life. Yeah. <laughs> no, what's weird <laughs> no is shit. I actually did some. I got this weird group message about some people going to a bank together. It was like a group of four people. They accidentally put my number in, so I did like. <laughs> social engineering and put their numbers in and found out a bunch of information about these random people. And I was like, that is so scary. If some Like this one girl, hey, fuck this one girl, <laughs> I won't say too much. I'll just say, me. well, she's from the Minneapolis, Minnesota area, like area. And I figured out like short for the government. I figured out like exactly what she did. And I'm like, what if I was like a bad person? Yeah. And she actually texts me. Now I know where she works, where I, she lives. Yeah. Where I'm like, everything, damn. I'm, everything <laughs> Her is name, getting te- so like, Electronical, or electronic, or I, I, okay. Let me just start this off, guys. The two, the two like technology kings we have in this room is Chase and Heaston. I couldn't, I can't math, and I can't technology. I can't so don't, so I don't, 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 don't like give me a thing. Like, I can't read either. That's that's Brent's so, famous so, line. So like, so I I, re- I watched a couple things, and it's just like I feel like. In the future, hackers are going to ruin our lives or technology. I don't want to say it's, there's so many pros and cons to technology. Like you ask any person over 50 years old, how do you like technology? Oh, it's bullshit. I think it's going to ruin this world. You ask a, a, a kindergartner or a, a kid in high school now, how do you like technology? Oh, it's badass, bro. I can't wait to check my email by looking at my wrist or something like that. You know, like you can do that already. Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't the Apple Watches, Samsung Galaxy Gear. Those, okay, yeah. all right. Teach their own. That's cool to me, I guess. Uh, Fossil smartwatches. Okay. Yeah, Rolex. Get that Rolex presidential. Rolex slash Facebook.com. Cool. Uh, well, that we got so do? like deep into this conversation that we totally got thrown off. Side it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't <laughs> no, matter. I, and that's what <laughs> the most part is, because we were worried Ooh. when we started the podcast that like we were we're gonna have a lot of awkward silent moments and we had all these. I don't feel like I'm gonna have that problem. Nah you do yeah, Brent definitely Ooh. will not have that Ooh. problem. What <laughs> what what would you what did you want to be like your overall like every day it probably changes like man I wish I could be fucking oh, yeah. I could wish I could be Conor McGregor and live off a hundred million dollars every day or something Get like that. Punched in the face. What what did you want to be? Like that's something crazy to ask. A Mine professional was, athlete, which is super stereotypical. What what sport? Or, like curling or fuck? Or yeah, football? definitely curling. Or, I was a fifty year old kid at heart. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was either like football or basketball. Those were my two. But <laughs> Mine was, I looked always, up to Michael Jordan and Peyton Manning. Mine was and always then, motocross. Yeah. What about Houston? Dude, I just I wanted to be an astronaut. Like that is that's stereotypical, same. but like, <laughs> oh my god, it, it's like there, there's it's, only like a select group of people who get to leave the planet. Yeah. I think that's an elementary <laughs> thing, and then you See, get into middle school, and then you're like, you no, 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 it is not an elementary. Thing. To me, it was a high school thing. I. You ask the average person, they don't know that the that stars you see in the night sky. <gasps> Guess what? They're suns. And, <laughs> and each sun has its own solar system. Or half the stars you see in the night sky aren't even stars. Yeah. They're galaxies. And a galaxy contains billions of stars or that have their own solar systems. Some of those stars have already burnt it's, out because we're seeing their life. The, from the photons themselves yeah. haven't traveled far enough. You know, so it's just, technically, we're like, we, we see the past. Yeah, yeah. We, well, we are when we look at the if lights. You, if, you would go, their, yeah, if you'd go weird. like 65 million light years away, like say I had a, a, a spaceship that, boom, I'm, I'm instantly 65 million light years away. I'm, out, I'm outside of our gal- our dinosaurs. local group house. I would look back at Earth right now and I would see fucking dinosaurs. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't see I've us because the it's, photons it's of us right now, of me fucking turning this lamp on, on and off, Right now, have not left Earth far enough for someone that far away to see. Yeah, the light hasn't reflected yet. That blows my mind. It is all physics, 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 astrophysics. So the kids that get to grow up being space travelers, when they when they go like a hundred million light years away, they're gonna look back 
and laugh. And, and they're going to laugh because they're like, <laughs> I think it really depends. Dude, that's, fucking sticks. I think I'm so jealous of the future kids because I've been playing Mass Effect Andromeda lately. And yeah. That, no. and they Just, get to okay, it. it's right, not as bad on. as people say. The, the facial animations do Galaxy suck. Galaxy is 3.4 billion light years away and will not reach our galaxy until then and when both galaxies collide which both are spiral galaxies which look like a whirlpool uh both galaxies are going to collide to make an elliptical galaxy which is going to be called milk dramata the milky way milk and it is, i swear to god it both it, it, think of it as like a frisbee we live in Mil- in Milky Way. The Milky Way galaxy is literally a frisbee flying through fucking space with nothing but <coughs> stars and planets as its frisbee shape. And we're going to collide with another frisbee, which is going to make Milk Dramata. And, and, and think about, like, I was watching this one thing that was talking about, uh, like, what will we miss? Don't be, don't be like, scared of what's going to come in the future. And people who, like, say the, the humans survive or die. Say, say all humans die. And then another species comes and evolves into another human-like species into the future. They're not going to know. Like, okay, more. let me start here. We haven't even been smoking, and this is more, a subject. Yeah. <laughs> Moore's, Moore's, not Moore's laws, Hubble's law is the universe is expanding in all directions. What's going to happen when our galaxy is the only looking galaxy in the universe? When our galaxy... We look in all directions. There's no stars. It's just pitch black. And it's, it's just all pitch black. What's gonna we're going to grow up thinking they're the center of the What's the weird universe. about Hubble's law is that they say space is ever expanding in all directions. What does like, space expand into? My physics teacher is talking about the that. The great like, cosmic rip. And they said that the physics necessarily does not have a theory or explanation for exactly what it expands into yet. And I was like, damn, that's it's just like a well, such a mind blow. about all mind that is like, yeah. math, <laughs> science, all that. It's like, it's all... It's all made up by us. Like, uh huh. Time. There could be an some illusion. alien that. Yeah, that well, it's just like. <laughs> it's it's like, like <laughs> I was watching a video and it's like this. It's like an ant. If they were to see us, like, you know, playing a game on a. TV, they would ask us what is going on. Then they wouldn't even. They'd be like, I don't understand. And then they just sit there and, like, look at it and, like, I don't get it. So, what, there's probably something in the universe that, that's like that for us. Like, yeah, like, we're going to look at it and we're like, I don't get it. That's and a star. Never gonna it turns get it out it's fucking Independence Day 300 years ago. And we just <laughs> don't know it. And, you know, and, and aliens are thinking, wow, you know, are aliens looking at, out at us? Like, they're not even worth talking you know, to. Are we going to even get to that point, though, where we get to, to oh, find yeah. all the answers we're looking for if we don't blow ourselves up with uh, nuclear, nuclear weapons? War? I mean, that hey, really is that the possible termination. You know what? But I don't, that's it's like just, that's happen. just yeah. how it happens, and we have to be that statistic, statistic in the universe. See, I don't know. That I just has to be us, I guess. I don't know. It's not going to happen, though. Like, Do you think we're going to be extra Hopefully not in our lifetime, though. So. Well, I hope. What I, do you mean? Do you think we're gonna be extraterrestrial? Like, do you think we're I gonna feel like we're gonna be planets? like. I hope that we okay. The closest star is Proxima Centauri. It, I I honestly don't know. Uh, some of you astrophysicists or uh, astronomers listening, you're gonna be like, oh, it's this many light years away. And let's say it's like one light year away. A light year is like 1.3 trillion miles. That means yeah. it takes light one year one year to reach that many miles, and 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 to. To aliens or something traveling, that seems like they can instantaneously do it or something. But to us, that's physically impossible. So I honestly forgot what I was saying because I've had like seven Budweisers. But (laughs) uh, but anyway, just know it was a cool it was a cool point, Uh, and I hope someone else brings up a different subject to talk about. What what is your favorite? Can we talk real quick before you before we do that? Because we have notes here, you know, pizza. To, yeah, pizza. But <laughs> just in case, he just in case we got an awkward silent moment going on. But I want to talk about Brent's note paper here because he doodled on it. I and I have ADHD. <clears throat> the, All right. Can you describe the picture? ADHD. Um, it and is currently. <laughs> it is currently. Uh, I wrote a couple <laughs> bullet points here, and then about after the seventh one, oh, I decided boys. to draw a car, and I was like, "Wow, I'm not good at drawing cars." Let me draw a building. All right, what if the building's on fire? What if fucking Godzilla's throwing a car at that? Godzilla <laughs> with a particular so, tattoo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I decided. Uh, I decided to doodle. I'm gonna I take guess. a picture of that and post it on Instagram. Okay, so people first can sale actually... on eBay. 
five million dollars. I'm not famous yet, but I will be. And I'll autograph it for wait, you. Wait, wait, let them autograph it first. Oh, oh yeah, autograph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Autom- autograph. Uh, yeah. I hope I become so famous that someone buys this piece on eBay or brings it to Pawn Stars on History Channel, and it sells for like five five million dollars or something <laughs> cool like that, so I can buy a Lambo. But uh, donate, please. Donate, yeah. Hey, if you're wa- if you're listening to this and you go, wow, I'm a big fan fan of Brent Bailey. Buy us for five million dollars and we'll be best friends. <laughs> and give make sure it goes to via credit union. I don't know my routing account number, but we'll figure that out. We'll later. figure that out later. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sign this now. Just for, uh... <laughs> can I just like Venmo you or PayPal? Yeah, Venmo you fucking <laughs> Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I think that I'm gonna go PDBRB. <laughs> All right, actually we'll wait for that, but. We got a little bit off topic. I'm gonna take this picture right now because it's definitely worth looking at, guys. It's it's almost it's almost it's, exactly what you would see in a movie or something. If Mona Lisa wasn't the most famous painting, <laughs> yeah. is yeah. that a helicopter? That's I think that's a helicopter. It's a helicopter. <laughs> really? We got a it helicopter like a in here. We're gonna post this I didn't know at all what that was. Um, I think that we kind of got off. Well, no, we definitely. We wasn't. we got off topic, but that's we, what podcasts are all about. I'm not saying no, this we was like from, if we were a train, we wouldn't even be. We'd be like in we the felt. Ocean. Yeah, no. We don't if make we were sense. Trained, somehow we would end up on. It's the It's like we're mixing the uh, uh, <laughs> what do you call Hunter the trains? Uh, the pedestrian trains with like explosives. The next train after that, and we're mixing them back and forth. So how we, how are we gonna get to? Uh, <laughs> how, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, do we stick with talking about the topic we were going for, which is just growing up, or are we going with? Well, I mean, we, we incorporate it outer fucking up. space, which is definitely where we are at right well, now. Well, I mean, that'll probably happen every episode. You know, you know what? Well, we're gonna space we're gonna just say that it's like it's like those movies that start at the end, and then we're gonna and then we're like <sighs> reroute back to a flashback. So, those movies uh, for some reason bother me, like Titanic. I'm like, no, why can't I just perceive it happening in the now? Why so, do I gotta? <laughs> perceive it happening as she's telling it back to me. I don't like doing that. <laughs> so really, it's like Deadpool where you start with the ending and then yeah, you're you, right. you go back. And well, then one thing I definitely yeah. I want to talk about is you, you're all right in there, Britt. Are you gonna talk to me? Yeah, you're all right, bud. Yeah, bro. I just had to take a nice pee. All right. Well, <laughs> Glad uh, was a nice I think one. we're gonna try to switch it back uh, and, and keep had with a it. Bad pee. I don't think I've ever had a bad pee. That's not yeah. good if you have a bad pee. Like, what like, would be considered a bad pee? Blood? Blood. Blood. Pain. Pain. Sting? Pain? Pain. You got an STD and Sting now you're going... What is STI this Subaru. <laughs> this commercial has been brought to you by Subaru. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. zoom. <laughs> is that Subaru that... Is no, that was the uh, Honda. Honda. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't sue us. www. Didn't someone also do don't Vroom, vroom. vroom. Didn't someone copy off Zoom, Zoom, do Vroom, Vroom? I don't know. I'm going to trademark it so no one can do it. Ooh. Uh, can pay me. Babysitters. <laughs> We've all had them. We all have stories. Keeson, a... start us off with the babysitter. I don't have a bad story. I guess the worst yeah, story was I was playing with a Tonka truck and I pushed it and it fell off and hit some girl in the head and Oof. I got put in time out. That's pretty oh, bad. Right. You know, I got to point this out because I said earlier I had a babysitter named Beth and she had five kids and one of them was uh, uh, she had a daughter named Kim and uh we had, you know those uh, t-ball practice things where you put the, the t-ball on top oh, of the yeah. stage? Okay, well, what I didn't know is Kim here decided she walked up behind me to talk to me. I didn't know she was there. So I swung this bat. Knocked her ass out. You knocked Kim out? Dang. Not No, not my mom, Kim. This, the, the daughter, daughter, yeah, daughter Oh, I'm sorry, I can't yeah. read. So I don't, <laughs> I can't read. I don't have any bad babysitter stories like me misbehaving really. I kind of remember getting, oh, I think I cursed. I think it said, like, piss. Oh, man. You and she put soap in my mouth. You guys, but then, so easy. Soap in Maybe your that's mouth. what's yeah. wrong with me. But then I was, like, jumping on a trampoline. This girl kicked me in the nuts. Let me tell and you. And I don't know what the hell was her problem. Or even that, uh, at that age, are you even able to feel it? You know, that's not, a good question. Like for real, like, I, like I mean, you still have no, testicles. You definitely feel it. Yeah, you definitely feel it. And Early you still have those nerve endings. I just don't Rachel remember ever getting hit in the nuts past like. That doesn't surprise dude. me. Or at, before like ten years old or something. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely got hit in the nuts, and it definitely hurt. I had this babysitter named <laughs> Joyce. Let me tell you this. Joyce. How many Joyce. babysitters have you had? Uh, well, <laughs> we had to get rid of Joyce for obvious reasons, which well, you'll find out here soon, but Beth was the main babysitter. I'm curious uh, about those obvious reasons. Why would, does she, like, smoke crack in your house, or? Um, like... okay, so, Beth, uh, jo- I'm sorry, Joyce was one of those babysitters, uh, who my mom found, I don't, I, 
where she I don't know much because I was so young Craigslist. back then. I didn't even, I wasn't even Craigslist. in kindergarten. This was like three or four years old. Can you get a babysitter on Craigslist? Yeah, I would not. Person. That's not a good idea. You're right, but however, there's some desperate people. But go ahead. Uh, so Joyce here, she um she lives in a trailer community, and uh, okay, not that bad. And then you get inside her trailer. Um, and she was one of those babysitters that whatever she made for lunch, you were going to fucking eat it, whether you liked it or Pete's not. Pete's Pride Pork Fritters and ham fucking sandwiches. More like peaches and cream the whole goddamn day. Oh, I'm okay with that. That sounds well, I, good. I'm a fruit person, so it was a it was a problem. And if you didn't eat your, <laughs> if you didn't eat your lunch, uh, you weren't allowed to get up until you did. So that was kind of a <laughs> torture for a four-year-old in itself. Yeah. But it got worse because one... And this is one of those memories, one of the earliest memories, maybe like top five earliest memories I have, is, uh, and Logan was, I believe, three years old at this time. We're sitting there, and it's nap time, and I'm, we, we, Logan and I would take nap time together, and we would sleep in her bed, and uh, I wake up in the middle of nap time, and I see my brother, his little three-year-old, three-year-old ass is out of bed, looking through her VHS tapes, just seeing what kind of movies she has, and uh, I go into panic mode, because this lady was a bitch, like straight up bitch. And uh, so I'm like, Logan, get back, get back in the bed. And uh, nope, too late. She hears Logan going through her shit, and she comes boom. And she was huge, by the way. This, this was like five hundred pounds. Like five hundred pounds. <laughs> wore <his> pajamas. <laughs> wore pajamas every damn day. <laughs> like smoke. I, okay, this is, cra- this, is, this is crazy. It was the babysitter you know as a parent you shouldn't take your kid to. But she's cheap. You're gonna do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I don't uh, have kids. Yeah, I know. Uh, she comes stomping through, busts the door open, grabs Logan up by the damn arm, man, and swings him and throws him into the bed. And Logan's three years old, so he's a little kid. You can get pretty far with a three-year-old when you swing him. And, uh, he I don't know. I'm bed. not born in Yemen or Syria, so... Yeah. She starts beating <laughs> Logan. <laughs> through. No, I can't say that I have thrown a three-year-old. I, I really have. You just, like, my nephews, you just, like... It's pretty play, easy. Play, you just, like, just I know, I've had... No. I'm assuming it'd be they're all like, right. They're, like, like, 30 pounds. <laughs> like Pussies. <laughs> she, she starts beating me, beating Logan, and then just because I'm awake, starts beating me. And I've never forgiven Logan for that. Never will, you know? Oh, Logan's my brother. Shit. Never forgiven Logan for that. So, uh, that's, uh... That's when we got rid of Joyce as a babysitter. Uh, final couple complaints from my parents, and uh, then we got Beth. Final couple Beth. of formal complaints from a couple of letters. Uh, Beth. Four years old. Beth that sounds like Beth. someone who uh, she was all right. Drives a Ford pickup truck and smokes a lot. Post pictures of their hound dog. I don't know. And Chuck's corn. Chuck's corn and. Dog I actually dog. loved growing up <laughs> at Beth's because we would have like ten bicycles and have races. Backing down her uh, block. Her Man. gravel driveway. I was so spoiled by my babysitter. She would get like pigs in a blanket or mac and cheese or like really good lunches. But then um, she'd have, I would an, just she'd have an N64. We'd play like Pokemon <laughs> Stadium. We'd play like 007 GoldenEye. We'd... <sighs> That's right. a good move. On, on the 64. On the topic of yeah. Pokemon uh, Stadium, I didn't know you can just throw Pokemons at the train of Pokemon. And catch them. So this is what? I did not even know that either. What? Different language. I used to play that. that. <laughs> I never knew it. And then I tried it one time and I caught someone's Pokemon. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> it was I, was, I was amazed. Where the beer? In the uh, mini fridge. In the mini fridge? Hey, can I try your yingling? No. You can. There's not. I, actually, I wouldn't just because I've been under the weather. And I know that Janelle's under the weather, but uh, yeah, she's awesome. it's actually literally near empty. Wow, and it's not okay. worth it. So I'm, what I'm getting is that you don't want me to try, you know, like... What I'm getting at is <laughs> it's good. I'm buzzed. Really buzzed, actually. You know, what, what I heard is my name is Taylor Wano, and I'm selfish. And I'm a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't drink three beers without getting wild. You know, I didn't even have friends <laughs> growing up until I was 16 and could actually finally leave and drive. Growing up here, it was just here, here, here. Here. 14 acres, rural area, smack and literally on the county line of Blackford. Dogs and Logan. But and dirt bikes. And, dirt bikes. and dirt bikes. Yeah, oh, I mean, we had plenty of things growing up. So I think that's one of the things. And also having a father who is a retired state trooper. Not that he was ever intimidating on purpose, but knowing that he was this authority figure. The first time I met your dad, I thought he was going to beat me up. I think... Everyone has. I want to meet your dad. You know, that's kind of, you just said <laughs> that, and for, I said that. Wait like, for it. You're the only it. friend, like, not only friend, because I haven't met your guys' parents either, but I've been here. 
like right six times. And you I can ask all of them. Like my dad's the he's 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 funny and he's good to talk to, but when you talk to him, you feel like he might beat you up. If you say yeah. something. I wouldn't say wrong. beat you up, but like it's just like <laughs> my grandpa is in the Green Berets, so I get I'm kind of used to people like that. It's like talking to I a did. Japanese businessman. Yeah, and straight you, to the point. Straight yeah. to the point, <laughs> and if you fuck up, he's gonna go. Break for, break for myself. Look at you. Keep it going, Brent. They'll snap and point Brent. at you, and then someone's going to take you out. Hey, Brent. Hey, Brent. This is Brent Bailey, brought to you <laughs> by Toyota of Muncie. Toyota uh, of <laughs> Muncie. the radio too much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I guess. Um, anyway, so I want to talk about what if. What if. What if. What if. Just think about that. Like, just, What's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say what if? And that's the 100% percent true of what if mine is what if what if i didn't buy a sport bike i wouldn't have to pay three thousand dollars in three hundred a month <laughs> like <laughs> that's what i think about is i wouldn't have to pay 300 a month but i do and that's what if for me so i don't know about what, what if for you he's what if hmm. what if you know there's a great what if i can do I'm, I'm gonna keep that one to myself what if he didn't move in with sylvia <laughs> Is that what you're going with? <laughs> that was what I was going to go with. Cool. I'm glad I can read your mind. Sylvia is crazy. <laughs> anyway, Chase, what if, what if? That is a hard question. But one thing I always ask myself, and like I always go online car shopping. I'm like, car what shopping? If, what if I had, not shopping, but browsing? And I always ask myself, what, like, what, well, is your... what if I had this much amount of money? What car would I buy? Or what house would I buy? And I literally Lamborghini just Lamborghini Glorado. And I go up and I browse cars and I browse houses. I'm, I'm just kidding. When I get like really bored, that's what I like to do. Why don't we just rob a bank? I don't know, Taylor. What Not would you too do? late. I Taylor, if you could rob a bank, how much you'd you rob them for and why? Just well, don't, don't how, rob as much as they have. <laughs> any particular bank? I can don't pick rob. any one. No, not mine. Will we do small you town? I would probably don't do small, small town, town bank. Oh small wait, town no, banks. but that's a less <clears> to get in contact. On that note, I actually work for a bank, and we'll get emails whenever a bank gets robbed, and I am astounded at how frequently it actually happens. I think. A Chesterfield bank got robbed, and the following week another bank got robbed, and yesterday a bank in Muncie actually got robbed. Yeah, yesterday was Friday, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So a bank in Muncie got robbed. Mm. So For how much? I don't know. They don't tell us how much, but they just tell us it got robbed. Um, I know the podcast is like all over the place, and it is our first one, in which we already warned you guys. You know how messy it could get, but um, I wanted to actually talk about how we even got to this point. Um, I listen to a lot of podcasts, and podcasts seems to be the thing that's that's starting to become popular, and uh, I enjoy listening to a variety. Uh, Joe Rogan. The Joe Rogan experience is actually what got me into the idea of doing a podcast, and I asked uh, everybody here to if they wanted to do it. Easton Wilson. Brent Bailey, Chase Goodman, and Harley Pagel. Hey, let's guys, let's do a podcast. And uh, we figured out a name, Cave Talk Radio. And I think we all like the name of Cave Talk Radio, so we went with it. And uh, here you guys are listening to us. And then and we had a... Jake. Jake, yeah. Uh, sh- actually, good point. Thank you. Shout out yeah, to definitely. Jake Niemeyer for making our logo for us. Um, he literally made it in like 10, 15 minutes, and that's something he does regularly. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, but we finally got to our first podcast, so here we are. And I don't know if you guys actually watch any of uh, our footage from Tailgate. Oh, God. Brent's the one that really could go over that well. Uh, if I could say anything, it, like one word about the Tailgate, I would say regret. And that is, <laughs> that is being, um, I don't know, over the legal limit and interviewing people. I feel really horrible about uh, some of the happy interviews I did. I really regret it. I'm not saying that so much like, I don't know, I feel like it was more the alcohol talking, and that's not me. I mean, I like it has it's, been, it's but. It's everything you secretly want to say. Secretly, what alcohol makes the truth come out is what I've heard, and I don't know if that's, I don't know if I, I really. I don't know if there's anything you should regret, though. Nothing you did was like I mean, I guess I had fun. I'm a solid 3.5, and I have a thanks for 10s. And that's really rough. And oh, okay. I, that's all I, I was those, interviewing is, is those tins. Parts. Hey, yeah. you oh, wait. Like, hey, would you be my girlfriend? Those she there. said no by not saying anything. And we get denied a lot that day. We did get denied a lot. And did you guys drink all the beer? We are out of beer until you go down to the house, which we're in the middle of our podcast, so we don't do that. 
Some Those of you who are, view- are listening to us, we're out of beer, so if you can bring us beer, uh, send it to cyclesolutions.com. <laughs> um, <laughs> by the, the way, I was trying to figure out what would be a good name for this particular, our first podcast, and I figured it out. I want to call it Notes and Noodle. Doodle. Notes and Doodle. Notes, Notes and Doodle. Doodle. I want chicken noodle soup now. What a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> You adding to your drawing? Yeah, well, I'm kind of. Oh, the right time's now. on here. If you're looking at it's elegant. Yeah. It's 49 minutes. Pizza King. Yeah, uh, we're gonna definitely get Pizza King, and no, we're not trying to promote Pizza King in a way. Although we're Pizza definitely King down. Pizza King has there. a picture of a guy on a snowboard Flying jumping out of an airplane. The air. And yeah. it's the best pizza you ever have in your life. Royal Feast. You half think they glued six. that pizza box to his hand? I feel like there's not a no pizza shit. in there. No shit. That's a good question. Wait, pizza King's your favorite pizza? Uh, Period. 100%. Shit. If you say We're pizza, are you going to talk gonna shit? Be... No, let's get it on the table. No, if you You're say, go ahead. Deep dish Chicago what pizza, is your favorite I pizza and why? Reach across this. I do like deep dish Chicago pizza Little better. Caesars. But my favorite pizza ever is this place called Columbo's. It wins Best Pizzeria in Michiana area, which is northern Indiana, southern Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. people around there call it Michiana. Columbo's in Elkhart, Indiana is the best pizza I've had in my life. Mm. And I will. Mm. I will, and I I'll do. I'll fight you right now. Pizza I King, think, yeah. I think Pizza King to me is like the high best pizza ever. Middle level. It's definitely not. Uh, it's definitely the professional luxurious level. <laughs> uh, tell you if what, it guys, was, it wouldn't be an Indiana exclusive restaurant. Uh, what we're gonna do oh, is we're gonna put a, uh, we're gonna put a poll there wouldn't on be our nine Facebook in feed and none anywhere else. We're gonna yeah. put a poll. We're gonna put a poll on our Facebook feed here after this podcast has been posted, and we're gonna have a uh, pizza best pizza. Uh, poll and uh, see which one wins. Have you been to Giordano's world. before, though? Yes, have I have, and I think it was terrible. No. I, don't, I don't, I don't get it because there's so much cheese. Wait, and Giordano's you're choking how on cheese. How can you be? Abs- how could you say so much cheese is a negative thing? Yeah, I'm fat. I'm sorry, pounds, but I'm trying, trying to eat, pizza, eat pizza, not fucking cheese, not a fucking and cheese all it is is cheese. Remember when uh, Damon, our buddy Damon, came a home deep dish and he ordered pizza. a pizza and he was all excited about it from Giordano's and it was just so much cheese, like. Is yeah. that what that was, Gio? Yeah. yeah, that was it. It tasted like awesome. It tastes so. like cardboard yeah, exactly. on top of cheese. Giordano's and cardboard. It does not taste like cardboard. Uh, this mo- message was brought to you by Giordano's. I <laughs> promise you, Giordano's. Um, Pizza King is not hiring us to say this crappy shit about you. It's just we're being honest. I bet Giordano's will be Pizza King in the polls. Mm. I guarantee you that That's I can't read. That's because it's special. So. Pizza King Royal Feast. Pizza King is too expensive for the pizza you get. If you're all right, we're fucking <laughs> renaming. All right, we're renaming this podcast <laughs> the Pizza. All right, Pizza.com. Pizza. What if hey, don't hit the is table. the next thing? Okay, Feedback so the- <laughs> don't act too excited. Is a note I had, and let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and say uh, if you could go back, if you could go back, Mr. Taylor Rydell. That's all I'm gonna ask because that's all I have written down. So what, <laughs> what if, if I could go back to uh, oh shit! Mm. I don't know. That's a big one. I mean, either high school. You have one. Is... You have one button on the fucking time machine that says to go back, and it's to whatever your mind says. And say I say kindergarten. Boom! It's my fucking but first day at you kindergarten. You can't remember everything. You'll remember fragments. No, you no, go no. back to kindergarten. You remember fragments. You can only remember fragments. I would think you just <laughs> fuck it. Let's just oh, go. But then there'd be no. Now. You remember <laughs> everything. Full throttle. Okay. I would admit, it, 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 if you didn't remember it would mainly be no more reason. about going back and yeah. I would invent Facebook that so Mark before. Zuckerman can fuck off and I'd have all his money. <laughs> he made yeah, Facebook in the late true. 90s, so that'd be hard for you to be a, a four year old. And... 95, fuck off. I'll make <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll make Tinder or something. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's, hey, YouTube was made in 06. So you YouTube was only 06. 05 or 06, yeah. Yeah. I remember YouTube? the first yeah. video uploaded to YouTube That's was it? a guy in a, it was a guy at a zoo no, that, looking at wow. elephants. Google Let's be honest, YouTube, though, who like here has not years, sat yeah. an entire evening and binge watched on YouTube? The most Nobody. random shit. Nobody. It I'm, goes from pimple popping to sport bikes. <laughs> you know, like it just it just <laughs> I happens. can honestly say I've never done that. Are you uh, serious? Wow. You never just binge watched YouTube my whole damn no. life. Well, maybe not the whole day, YouTube. but definitely for like four hours, to, which is a lot of yeah, time. Yeah, like if I don't have anything going on, it's like eight o'clock at night. I'm gonna sit in my bed and watch it's like YouTube midnight. Tomorrow. Watch live yeah. feed on YouTube. Like they normally have a lot of funny shows. Red so team. if I could go back, <laughs> uh, this message was brought to you by <laughs> www. 
Teenagersmasturbate.com. And <laughs> don't look that up. Probably, probably doesn't exist. It does exist. But I don't condone it. Oh my god. XXXN.com. Anyway. Uh, and this is where we're going to <laughs> It's XNXX. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if I could go back to any time, I'd always said this time it would be fifth grade because um like middle school is when shit starts happening like when you need like at least athletically because right, i was big yeah. in ath- athletics it's like we need to start focusing on getting better to Instead like playing halo for so playing halo 2 with your cousin 12 hours his, <laughs> yeah <laughs> i remember what it was grade, like definitely. going from fifth grade to middle school and you were a fish again and not a shark and then you went from eighth grade top of the food chain in middle school to and high then, school and then you were a fucking shrimp i i can't say that because i was making fun of seniors my freshman year and that's just more of looking at me as an asshole yeah i was making fun of seniors freshman year too i was i was literally getting in fights with seniors on the basketball team when i was a freshman and i was a freshman i played on the jv <laughs> and i just remember against varsity teams, you guys ever but... get bullied growing up yes i did kansas my He's dead now, lol. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're related to Kansas Battle, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, was, this no guy, filter. Who is this kid? No this filter. kid was like the stereotypical, like, has probably, probably mm-hmm. killed one person at least before he actually died. But I remember it because me and Kyle Holson have homeroom together. And it was one of the periods where we had like two hours of homeroom because of something going on during the day. And me and Kyle were sitting back there, didn't have any fucking internet on the computers because our homeroom teacher was backwards and we had to do CAD drawings with pen and paper because I guess oh, we were shit. poor. But he was just like, I don't know, he just came back and sat next to us and just started talking shit. And I wasn't going to say anything to that kid because he is a prof- at that point he like did underground UFC uh, fighting. King I'm of like, the Ring. Yeah, and I was like, I'm like, um, you know, I'll just let you say whatever you want to me, because I really don't care, and I don't want to get beat up, so take, uh, take your best shot, yeah. and that's, that's really it, though, I've never been bullied outside yeah. of that. I've never been bullied my entire what? life, which is weird, but, like, what? I fit through so many other social groups, like, I don't, I've told Heaston this, but I haven't told you guys, because there's a lot of, like, I know you guys are judgmental, but I would like from I'd We're watch not that judgmental. I know you guys aren't, but I know a lot of other people are. Like I'd watch anime in high school, but and I was also a four okay. Sport yeah, athlete. we're judgmental. I'm I judgmental. I, was <laughs> al- I, still, I still watch some anime. I was also a four um, sport athlete, so I can't like spell anime. I don't, I don't what know. I liked about high school, it was like fun, just like the social ladder. That's the only thing I miss about high school is like being one of the popular kids. I went, and it's uh, like the jockeys. Is that, no, that's the thing. Like I told you, I wasn't necessarily I like, a jock I like because being, I was like right below the popular <clears throat> kids to the point where like you're friends with just like anybody. Everybody. Yeah. Right? yeah. I was friends with everybody. Like I was saying, I was like anime to four sport athlete because I, mean, I played travel volleyball. Fourth period. I'm friends like, with the nerds. So many Fifth period. I'm friends with the jockeys. I definitely had yeah. people I did not like in high school, but I mean, I was in my own world. I didn't have. I had. Friends, the only friends. person in my life that I've ever hated is Tom Brady, and I still hate him. <laughs> I've never hated another human being. <laughs> and you've never, you've never met him either. You nope, never have I. Hate him, hate him by association. He sued a homeless man for stealing his flower pottery that were beside his garbage can in front of his garage. Well, was... And he left his pregnant girlfriend. He cheated on his pregnant girlfriend with his current wife. And I just think he's a shitty person. Wow. Tom Brady? Yeah. Yeah, Tom Brady, if you're listening, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you deflating football oh, asshole. Oh, and the deflating game. <laughs> when he broke his phone, broke on accident, when they wanted to confiscate his phone. I'm like, you're such a piece of shit. Well, oh, I mean, my phone broke, you can't confiscate it. Oh, it just no, broke my phone. If you're coming live from New England, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> so, let's say like Mark Wahlberg, we like you. Is he from New England? I think it's the Boston area. Yeah. Mark, send me like three hundred dollars <laughs> if you're listening. Or just because picture your giant fucking biceps. Yeah, you don't have no biceps, does he? Mark Wait, Mark why do you want Mark a picture Wahlberg? of his biceps? That's why not? Weird. Does he have a hot <laughs> Asian girl wife? It doesn't matter. It's Mark Wahlberg. It doesn't you know, matter. If someone famous wants to send me a picture of their biceps. Oh, yeah, of their biceps. Send me of your uh, social security number. <laughs> and uh, uh, I want a Lamborghini. Send him so. the first five digits of, of your social security. Because the rest is publicly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't have given we, that up. We can, we can do pod, uh, polls on Facebook, can't we? 
That's something yes. we, can we can do. do it on, Twitter. on our page, we can. I don't yeah, know if we can do it can. publicly. Can you post public? Maybe you could probably sponsor it. Oh, actually, what, you have a what is some <laughs> really... What is some, like... Okay, I'm trying to think. What... What is your like your family views? Like, what, what kind of family were you growing up with? I was born up with a, a Methodist family, hmm. very church active, very strict. Spank my ass. Mine was like, my mom never really went to church until I was like ten, and then she tried to make me go, and I'm just like, yeah. holy, 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 I Jengis, like, Jengis, thank nah. you, Jengis. And my mom's still, <laughs> my mom's still pretty religious, but that is definitely. That's like staying away from that whole ordeal. Uh, I didn't really have a super religious family. I mean, I know my my. I actually, I couldn't even answer the question if my parents are religious or not. But we do the we pray at dinner and all. Um, yeah, not necessarily religious, but like, what was what was your family life like? Uh, growing up, dogs. Dogs is what? What are you talking about? I, my family mean? life was dogs. What do you mean? Look at me. I have fucking... What? So How many dogs so you're, like, dogs. so you're like the fucking jungle book over here? I'm like <laughs> the <laughs> dog whisperer at this point, dude. <laughs> the only dog I've ever not been able to confront and... Like, there's only one dog that scares the bejesus out of me. And it's the one down there at the end of the road. Oh, God. That dog. What dog in the middle of the road? That's the dog A German shepherd, there. man. He's the only one that ever actually tried to kill me. Like, yeah, I've never that, had a dog actually try to kill me that before. That dog tried to attack me. When I Everyone always there. like... Dude, uh, for example... Uh, no, not to interrupt, but uh, Cheyenne was telling me that uh, over at Virginia's house, they had that that pit bull, and they, they, I asked him, can I let it out? It's been in the cage for a while. She's like, yeah, but she doesn't like guys, and she may attack someone. I'm like, Psh, that that doesn't phase me at all. But that German Shepherd down there, that that yeah. phases me. Bad memories. The What's only your dogs dog? I get nervous around or like. Giant ass Rottweilers. My grandpa had a Rottweiler, Rottweiler named Angel. Really? And that dog was like fucking huge. Name was what? it a hypocritical was name? It Angel? name? Was it the I, name uh, of it? To me, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was such an ass to me. But yeah, uh, going back to the question, I was raised like a non practicing Christian family, and they're super chill. My parents were awesome. My dad is like, was like the competitive athletic dad, like not like is. Does he watch hardcore ESPN? Is that? Yeah, that's all he watches. My dad drinks beer. <laughs> yeah, my dad drinks Budweiser all day. Not all day. King of he beers. drinks it daily, but not like he's not like a super hardcore alcoholic. He just drinks it like two or three a day. Okay. I could have had the money, but <laughs> that's basically how I was raised. Super chill family. Well, guys, uh, for those listening, uh, we're actually going to wrap things up for this first podcast. Um, it was definitely one of those shits and giggles kind of style podcasts, but test run, if anything. But hopefully you guys listened in, you listened all the way through, and uh, we hope you guys listen to the next leave, one. Leave some comments, I guess, on what you want to hear. Or, 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 or any questions or, or comments on today's topic or stories. Uh, I, I know listening to a radio station or something, you, you bring your own life into it, and that's what makes it interesting, but I'd love to hear any kind of feedback from anybody. Definitely. Definitely. Give us ideas to make something entertainment for you, whether you're driving or um, listening to us at any, anywhere. Yeah, it's 3 a.m., you're eating Oreos and you're listening to this. Go you're ahead. Stoned, More stoned, anything. Marijuana is bad. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Don't do drugs. If you do them, that's cool. I'm right. cool. I drew a guy in a tank. He drew a guy in a like, tank. It looks like a, looks like a, no, a penis. Yeah. <laughs> that's the end. All right, that's the end of the podcast.